Do you remember your first date? I remember mine and it was awkward. Exciting, clumsy, filled with worry that maybe my date wouldn't like me as much as I thought he did, anxious that I'd be boring or not funny enough, full of self-doubt. That was my first date. And the first time that I really ventured out of my newborn bubble after having my first baby and I was you know, ready to meet some mom friends, I felt eerily similar to the way that I did when I had my first date many moons ago. Like, first of all, where am I supposed to meet mom friends? Where do you go to meet mom friends? Like, do I go stand on the corner in the suburbs and hold up a sign, new mom needs friends? No, you're too desperate. Maybe a coffee shop? looking cool, casual, approachable, all while internally worrying that my precious bundle of joy was going to poop through her diaper or suddenly get a rowdy case of gas or if my milk jug spring a leak, I need to find the nearest exit. My mind is filled with all the worry, like I can't meet somebody in a coffee shop. No, put up an ad on Craigslist, like is that still a thing? No, too serial killery. Whoa, hold on. Did I just come up with the next million dollar idea? A dating service website, but not for dating, for meeting like-minded moms. Excuse me, BRB while I go patent that. I mean, like seriously, how was I going to meet mom friends who wouldn't be offended by my talk of a child shooting out of my JJ. My friends without children at the time just didn't understand where I was coming from and I needed another mama in my life. I needed somebody who felt me and knew the struggle of what I was going through. I needed connection. And so the quest began for my group of mom friends. I joined Facebook groups, I hung out in the park with my coffee and my stroller and my baby, of course, because that would have been weird if my baby wasn't with me. And I was ready to make all the mom jokes about poopy diapers and sleep deprivation, because Lord knows I was in the thick of it. I even started sharing my own journey in motherhood on social media in hopes that the kind of lonely existence that can be motherhood sometimes would feel a little less lonely by connecting with people on social media. So I shared my own journey. And through my attempts at connection, I had some mom dates that left me feeling like I was walking on sunshine, and some mom dates that left me running home to get in my robe with a pint of ice cream, curled up on my couch, vowing to never do it again. I mean, at least with real dating, you don't have to worry about your date judging you for the kind of diapers you slap on your baby's bum. Mom dating is hard. Finding a good mom friend is hard. You have to tiptoe around touchy subjects, you know, the first few times you hang out. Bottle feeding versus breastfeeding. Public school versus homeschool. Homemade baby food versus store-bought baby food. Tiptoe around all the sensitive subjects. You don't want to offend anybody, right? And then when you do find a mom friend who you connect with, who can tolerate your level of crazy due to sleep deprivation and brain cell depletion because Blippi is constantly on in the background. Then you have to actually figure out how to maintain that friendship, how to nurture that friendship, how to make that new mom friend feel like she's a priority in your life, because that's what friends do, right? We prioritize our time together. So you want to do the same with your new mom friend. And you're trying to do this on top of keeping track of your baby's feeding schedule, making sure you didn't mix up the doctor's appointment with the hair appointment and getting said appointment rescheduled that you most likely definitely did mess up because again, you're sleep deprived. And in the midst of all those thoughts, you're like, oh my goodness, I need to text my new mom friend. I need to let her know, hey girl, would love to hang out, but you know, I'm in the throes of motherhood, but I'm thinking about you. It's hard trying to maintain friendships when you're a mom. That's what I'm trying to say. But here's the thing, just like when you are actually in the dating pool, in you know, you're on the market, you're looking for the one, just like with actual dating and searching for your soulmate, finding the right group of mom friends can be discouraging and a little bit hard sometimes but you stick with it because once you find your person, 
everything clicks and suddenly the tantrums feel a little bit more manageable because you have a gal pal to vent to. The really long days of trying to keep a tiny human entertained can suddenly feel a little less long and lonely when you can invite your mom friends over for playdate reinforcement, right? Doesn't that sound like fun? I'm telling you, motherhood feels so much more manageable when you've got a solid group of mom friends who can wade through literal SHIT with you. So even through some of the awkward and some just plain bad first dates, keep searching and keep reaching for that mom friend out there who is right for you, because girl, she's there, I swear. And once you find her, hold on tight, stock up on wine, because you need a good mom friend in your life to get through it all with. See you next time.